All right, well, the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development has confirmed three additional foot and mouth outbreaks in the town of Makad in the Free State. All the positive farms have uh, been placed under control to prevent a further spread of the foot and mouth disease infection. Uh, field officials from neighboring provinces have been deployed to build capacity to deal with the disease challenge. Uh, three additional outbreaks were recorded on two farms that previously tested negative for the disease and one additional farm that the departmental field personnel were investigating as a suspect farm. Let's get to more on this when I joined uh, via Zoom by uh, Dr. Patricia Franeman, uh, Acting Director at the Veterinary Services in the Free State uh, Province. A very good afternoon to you, Dr. Patricia. Uh, thanks so very much for joining us here on SABC News. It's a pleasure having me. Thank you so much for allowing me to speak to you today. You're most welcome. Um, all right, let's talk about, you know, the, the, we should rather, let's get an update on the issue of foot and mouth disease in the province and how far and wide is it? We had understood there were, I think, three or four uh, farms uh, that were quarantined. What's the update now? Is the situation getting better or is the situation getting wor mm -hmm. worse? What can you tell us? Well, um, I think let's, let me give you an overall um explanation of the province and then we can move to Marquard specifically but the update for the Free State province is the following. We are currently sitting with outbreaks in the following towns of Harry Smith, Lindley, Marquard, Fulhunskruen and then the latest one is in Herzogville. Mm -hmm. um, out of the mentioned outbreaks Lindley and Fulhunskruen have shown to be stabilized at the moment. Although there have been three new cases reported in Marquard these are not seen as active cases of the virus spreading because they were detected as part of our surveillance efforts around the positive farms, which only indicates that they are unfortunately being exposed to the virus some time ago. This also shows that our surveillance methods are working and that we are picking up all of these farms where the disease could have possibly spread to. So it just goes to show that our methods are currently working yeah. Yeah, and, and we are detecting the virus on these farms. Uh, Dr. Patricia, let's talk about those uh, particular methods uh, then. Of course, I did mention uh, one of them, of course, um, where you have indeed quarantined uh, some of those farms. But let's talk about those uh, interventions and further inter interventions in terms of uh, plans to contain the spread. Yeah, so our plan and protocol currently is the following, like you mentioned, we um, the affected farms are placed in quarantine as well as the two layer farms around every positive farm is also officially quarantined. The positive farms affected herd is then vaccinated and they are also F branded on the right side of the neck. Like previously mentioned, because of this um, surveillance interventions around all the second, the first and second layer farms, we are then able to pick up whether the disease has spread sideways to the properties next door. Yeah. All right. And then, I mean, when it comes to issues like this, when it comes to issues of foot and mouth, I mean, it's one thing to quarantine those farms that are affected. But then, of course, the issue would be to, you know, go to the root of the problem where uh, where exactly it is uh, coming from. Because even though you may isolate uh, those particular farms, but then you find a recurrence of foot and mouth disease. So mm -hmm. have we dealt with where the problem is actually coming from? Uh, yes, we have, but let me take you just a step back. So yeah. the plan of government at this stage is to just grasp control of all the outbreaks and try to protect as many farms as possible. We also have our guidance from the National Office um, on how to deal with foot and mouth disease on the different type of farming enterprises that you get, because each outbreak is different. Um, there is not a one size fits all. There's different dynamics and different risk analysis that we need to take into consideration. So we must apply our scientific minds, you know, and conduct these risk analysis and make decisions to ultimately control the disease on behalf of all the South Africans in the agricultural sector. Yeah. All right, Dr. Patricia, thanks very much uh, for speaking to us. There's Dr. Patricia Franeman, who's the Acting Director of Veterinary Service in the, in the Free State. Many thanks uh, for your time, ma'am.